Gentlemen, he's Taz and I'm Michael Cole here at ringside welcoming you to Minneapolis, Minnesota. Hey, I got top billing tonight. I'll pay you later. Well, what can I say? These Minneapolis fans have got me in such a great mood. I'm feeling especially generous tonight. Look at him go, Cole. I'll explain why this is so exciting when you get a little bit older. Man, I didn't think a pillow could hurt that much. It's not easy maintaining this type of intensity week after week after week, Cole. Trust me. I don't doubt it, Taz. The WWE superstars don't get an offseason. They compete every week until they're not physically capable of continuing. I knew it was only a matter of time before we saw that. I don't like it, but as long as it wins matches, it's going to keep happening. That's the bottom line, Cole. If you're not doing everything you can to win, then you're in the wrong game. This is one hell of a performance by some amazing superstars, Cole. What did you expect, Taz? This is SmackDown, after all, the number one brand in sports entertainment. These superstars... And there's the reversal! I think this proves without a doubt why SmackDown's the dominant brand in sports entertainment. I can't help but agree, partner. You won't see action like this on Raw. Yeah, and even if you did, you'd have to listen to a couple of yahoos jabbering about puppies and, and government mules and uh, scolded dogs. I, t I tell you, it's like a damn zoo over there. This is not just a match anymore, Cole. These superstars have got a legitimate beef with each other. They do indeed. There's a lot of bad blood here for sure. feel like a real jerk when somebody counters it like that. She's really taking this pillow fight seriously. Thank you, Captain Obvious. I just think it's unfortunate whenever a superstar decides to cheat to win rather than compete fairly. Looks like they might be taking this match down a notch here, Cole. The pace of the match may have slowed, but the intensity of these superstars certainly hasn't. You can say that again. Waiting for your opponent to make a move or give an opening can be just as intense as putting him through a table. And whether or not you have that kind of patience often means the difference between winning and losing a match. If you ever wanted just how much punishment a human body can take, I think you're going to get an answer tonight. You might be right, Taz. It doesn't look like these superstars are going to go easy on each other. That's not what they're getting paid for, Cole. And besides, they got too much pride to give less than 100% in there. I can't remember seeing anyone win a match with a pillow, but there's a first time for everything. How much longer are these superstars going to be able to keep it up? Your guess is as good as mine, Taz. They're certainly not going easy on each other, that's for sure. These superstars are putting on a clinic in there. Yeah, and not a health clinic. I don't think they'll be the same after this one. I don't think this is just a match anymore, Cole. This is getting personal. Well, what do you expect? They've been beating the hell out of each other all match. Yeah, but it's more than that, Cole. I don't think they look at each other the same way after this one.
man, I almost feel bad for JR and King Cole. When's the last time you think they saw a match this good? I couldn't tell you, Taz. I don't know if they've ever had anything this good on Raw. Me neither. Because I guess that just makes sense. I mean, after all, SmackDown is the number one brand in all of sports entertainment. And that's one of the few things we completely agree on, partner. It doesn't get any bigger or better than SmackDown. I hope this isn't the last time we see these... That wasn't what I would call the most <laughs> athletic match I've ever seen, but I'll tell you. Here's your winner. I hope not, Taz. Or I have to start Trish about Stratus. You worrying about me? That's a good one. You're a funny guy. And again, looks on everything.